Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back. Springtime is finally here. As much as I like wild camping in winter, it's a great time to test out your gear, to test your skill, to test your overall toughness. I'm happy to see the end of it now. It's been a long, cold winter. So I've made a list of six top reasons why you should be getting out and making the most of springtime. So no messing about, let's get straight into it. Reason number one is longer days and longer nights. So recently our clocks moved forward by one hour which is one extra hour of daylight. So not only can we have a lie in, have that morning coffee, get packed up and then get out and there's still plenty of daylight to enjoy. Maybe it's also you've uh, just got back from work and you still want to go out. You've now got extra time to get out there, find that ideal spot, set up and still have some daylight. So reason number two is it's sunnier and it's warmer. So sunlight will actually help boost a chemical in your brain called serotonin and that will give you more energy, help keeping you calm, positive and focused. So when you get to camp and you're trying to peg out your shelter and you keep hitting rocks and all the tree roots in the ground, you've got that extra serotonin in your skull to keep you nice and calm. Also, we can start leaving behind those extra winter layers or the big beefy sleeping bags we've been carrying about for a while now, which in return will reduce some of that pack weight and bulk. In my opinion, the less gear I can take on the trip, the better it is. Okay, so reason number three is foraging for wild foods. So I'm sure if you've got the skill set and the knowledge, there's wild food all over any time of year, but springtime especially is a great time for it. If you're new to all this kind of stuff and you're just getting into foraging, then this is a season which you should be making the most of. A few easy ones I'm always on the lookout for when I wander off onto a wild camp is wild garlic. This is great for seasoning your foods. I cooked a steak recently on a camp, put some wild garlic on it and best steak in my life. Dandelions is another one as well. You can eat the whole thing and it's a great source of vitamin C. Also stinging nettles, you can make some soups or some teas with it. And one last common one that I look for is Jack by the Hedge. It has like a garlicky mustard taste and it's great to go on the side if you've got a steak but you jack by the hedge on the side and it makes for a great salad. Yeah, there's so many wild foods sprouting up this time of year, so now's your chance to get out and enjoy them all. Okay, number four is it's almost bug free. So it's that time of year where we can start ditching all those winter layers and getting our skin out without worrying about all the bugs like mosquitoes and midges trying to attack us. I've actually noticed a few midges out and about recently, but not too many and nothing compared to summertime. I feel like they're just at that regrouping stage at the moment, so they're not worrying about us too much just yet. Also ticks and fleas are other bugs that don't come out until summer time. So we've got a few months to enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the warmth without all these pesky bugs trying to eat us. So spending time in the outdoors, we just have to learn to deal with all the bugs and everything that come with it. But I also understand it can be quite off-putting as well for someone who's just getting into wild camping. So if that sounds like you, then springtime is your time to be getting outdoors and enjoying that bug-free life, at least for a while. Number five is people free. Now the same as bugs, I'm not saying people are bugs, but when I go out, I want to be alone to enjoy nature. So the less people around, the better for me. In England, where I'm from, it's a very small country. So it can be pretty hard sometimes to truly isolate yourself from other people. So springtime is when we can start making the most of the lighter and warmer days before everybody starts flocking out like they would in summertime. Now anyone from the UK will understand this, that as soon as that clock ticks over into summertime, everyone and the grandma is out with the tops off, partying on. It's absolutely crazy. If you're from the UK, you'll know what I mean. But even if you're in the woods or up on the hills, that lovely camp spot you found through winter, come summertime, you might find it's become a popular spot for a group of youngins or it's not as isolated as it originally was with dog walkers or whatever, just stumbling through. So springtime, yeah, there may be a few more people out and about than there was in winter, but it's not reached those crazy levels like it will do when summer comes along. Okay, so number six, the final one I have for you today Today is the scenery and the wildlife. So springtime is known as the season of awakening. So after battling through those dark and silent winter days where it doesn't feel like there's any life around us at all, now is the time we start to see all the greens coming back. Every time we go out, there's new flowers blossoming, which is always nice to see. Also, the wildlife starts to become more active as well, like the birds yapping on, which for me, especially I love because it makes for some great ambient noise when I'm doing my videos. Also, this is the time of year where most animals are doing their mating as well. So there's a good 
good chance of you seeing any little baby deers or little baby animals running about. So yeah, it's the perfect time to start getting back out on them adventures and seeing all the life, all the wildlife coming back into the picture. So my take on it all is that winter is a time to test ourselves we're battling through them harsh conditions and then by the end of it spring comes along and it's like a little reward for us for getting through it i'm sure there's plenty more reasons as well why you should be wild camping in springtime but these are my top six that i'm most excited about so yeah hopefully i've convinced you to do some wild camping this springtime and thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one